Hello, everybody, and welcome back to 1.18 Minecraft. And today, I am going to be working on the Water Village once again. So, last episode, I built the large building over here at the end, and I think it looks really cool. Now, off camera, I built the roof over here on the second section. I also put a fence around here, uh, and this is pretty much done. So this section's done because it's just going to be like an observing area where you just kind of like sit out here. You can look around. I should probably put like maybe some chairs down so I could add some of that. Uh, but that's what I'm going to be working on today is doing a bunch of like the furniture stuff. Uh, last episode, I also built uh, this farm area here. Off camera, I went ahead and put in... All of the wood I even put a little ring of slabs around the side so if we go out here I can show you what it looks like uh, this right here I need to get rid of uh, this wood this is just so I can get on top of the roof uh, but I can grab that back but I did uh, just two slabs uh, around the side because I want to keep the top open so that we can get the sunlight in uh, but that is the farming area uh, where the villagers can go farming. Uh, looks like we've got another villager over here. I don't know what he's doing. Do you need help getting over to the village? I guess he's just kind of like exploring around here. You want to go over the Turtle Bay? Uh, I might actually do something with Turtle Bay. I'm not sure. Uh, where, where are the turtles? Usually there's a bunch of turtles around here. Uh, oh, there's one. There's a turtle right over there. So the turtles like to hang out in the sand up here, so that's why I called it Turtle Bay. Uh, we've got another turtle over here. Uh, so hopefully I can find a way of maybe including this somehow. But I'm going to work on that another episode. Today I want to work on building the furniture uh, for the main building over here. So last episode I created... Uh, the structure of it so now that it's created I need to build everything inside so to start off with I'm just gonna build like one block uh, the kind of section off the rooms so I'm gonna have probably two rooms right here so I can do two rooms and then I can connect them um, right here because this is like the middle of the building so eventually I'm gonna have the wall go all the way up I'm not really sure exactly how I'm going to connect up these walls with the uh, the roof that I've got. I might just build them up like three blocks like up to here and then just leave the top open. I could do that. Is it raining again? Why is it raining so much? It did this last episode as well where it just started raining. Uh, but over here I'm going to have a door. I need to get some more oak wood. So, you know what? Before I do any more building, I'm going to go cut down some oak trees so that I've got some more wood. Uh, my jungle trees are growing over there. I could use jungle wood to mark out everything because I've got a bunch of it. But I want to build all the interior walls out of oak wood. So, I'm going to go grab some of that real quick. Alright, so I just went and grabbed up a bunch of wood. Apparently, a creeper's moved in. Uh, we got to get rid of this guy. There we go. Uh, anybody else want to come and attack me? Nope, I think that's it. Alright, we're going to need to get some lights. Now, off camera, I did actually make a bunch of lanterns. Which I wanted to put these on all of the fences. I've only got 15 of them. So, I'm just going to use them for here. Now, I can hang them from the roof. But I can only put them on certain blocks. Uh, I don't even know if that's going to give enough light. It should. It should give enough to stop stuff from spawning. So I just got to figure out the best place to put these. I think if I put them on this block, that should give enough light for each of the corners. The only thing is, is when we get into the room here, that light is not really going to be centered uh, with the walls. Uh, so let me go ahead and make uh, these logs that I've got into planks so that I can build up the wall. Now, this is where I got to figure out how I'm actually going to attach the wall to the ceiling. So, I can at least use the jungle planks to connect the oak wood to the ceiling, but I can't use the oak slabs. 
This should work if I just do it like this. It doesn't look that bad. So I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna put a bunch of oak wood uh, down like this. And then I'm gonna put some more slabs. And then I'm just gonna run the wall all the way along here. And then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with these lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn all of my wood in the planks. And I'm gonna create a, a chest. Eventually I'll like put this into the build. But for now I'm just gonna use this so I can store all of this wood. Because I've got so many different types of wood. Okay, so I finished building the wall. I think this looks really good. Uh, the next thing I need to do is I need to build the second wall that goes here. I also need to fill in uh, the wood here. And I also need to get some glass. Because all of this, I'm going to put glass in uh, so that it's not uh, like a, an open gap like the other buildings are. I think having glass in here makes it look a lot better. I don't know if I'm going to put glass in all of these areas. I might like block this up a little bit. Like maybe do like two blocks there. Or just put glass in the front and block that wall up. Over here. I guess I could do like a, a corner window here. Because you can kind of look over there. And you can look over there. Because we have a whole like uh, viewing area over here where you can uh, view everything. Also, what is this villager doing? He's just swimming in the water. So right over here is going to be the first two rooms. So I'm going to have one of these be like a bedroom. I could actually do like both of them as bedrooms. I could have two bedrooms in here. So I could build like another two rooms over on this side. Where I put a room here. And then I put a room over here. And then... The whole building's just going to be like a, a huge hallway at this point. So you like walk in and then you either go straight or you go left or right. Or you just go back out. So I think what I'm going to do is instead of putting another two rooms here, I'm just going to leave this area open. And I'm going to put like some chairs down over there. Maybe like a kitchen. I guess we could put like a kitchen over here. Put like maybe a living room over there. And then have two bedrooms over there. So this is going to be like a living area. So we want to make sure we've got all different stuff that you'll need. So now what I want to do is I want to work on building these bedrooms. I also need to get some glass for these. So I'm going to head back to the house. Uh, look and see how much glass I've got. Uh, so that I can fill in all the windows. And then I also need to grab up some stuff to build uh, like the kitchen. Uh, the one thing I want to make is some chairs. So I'm going to make some oak stairs here. I probably have some oak stairs already made. Uh, but I'm just going to make some fresh ones. And I'm going to put some chairs down. I got to figure out where I'm actually going to put the chair. Because this over here is uh, not going to be here. So let me just move this chest real quick. I'm going to go put the chest in the bedroom. I could probably use some of the job items with the kitchen area over here. Like, I could use some cauldrons. And I think, do I have some extra in here? I've got a grindstone and a barrel. So, I could use a barrel for the kitchen. And then the grindstone, I don't know what I could use that for. But now that this area is opened up, I can at least see what it's going to look like. So, I'm going to move the chair over here. So, I'm going to put a nice big chair here. And I could put another small one over on that side. And I could put like some blocks here for like a table. You know, it might be better if I put a block here. I could put a flower pot on there. I could have a table, two chairs. And then I could put like a third and fourth chair in like that. That actually might be better if I just put uh, chairs like that. And then over here I'll have like the kitchen area. Uh, do I have any oak slabs left? I don't think I do. Oh, wait. I, there is some. I might use jungle slabs. I'm going to build a, a counter here. And then I could put, like, the cauldron in the middle. I could put a refrigerator there. And then I can even extend this out this way. And I also want to put, like, a block down at the end like that. And that this will be, like, the kitchen. So I could have a sink there. Or I could put a sink over here. I think having it here is better. So you can kind of like look outside. And then we can have a fridge 
over here I could put a stove and I could use a job item. I could put like a smoker in here. Uh, that's one of the job items. So I could put that in and then uh, we will have like a, a little kitchen right here in this area. So I'm going to have to go get the uh, the supplies for that. But first I got to figure out which wood I'm going to use. I think I'm going to go with the jungle wood because I've used like oak for everything else. Uh, so I'm just going to use the jungle wood because it fits in a little bit better. Alright, so this is what the uh, the kitchen is going to look like. I'm also going to open up this window again. Uh, so that way you can look outside. But I'm going to have a sink here. I'm going to put the smoker over here. I'm going to put the fridge there. And then uh, I could put like maybe something in the middle here. Yeah, I, I don't think we need anything here. I think this is going to be good uh, for the kitchen. Now all I have to do is get all the items that I need to build this. And then I also need to get the stuff for the bedroom. So before I go back to the house, I want to set up the bedroom real quick. Uh, so over here I've got a chest. I'm going to make a second chest so that uh, both bedrooms have a chest in them. I'm also going to put a crafting table in somewhere. Because uh, I've got a crafting table here. But I could put this in with like the kitchen possibly uh but i'm gonna do like the exact same thing for each bedroom so this is what the uh, the bedrooms are gonna look like we're gonna have bed job item crafting table and a chest and then this is all going to get glass so that is uh pretty much the rooms done now i just have to get the stuff for them so i'm gonna head back and grab up everything from the house and then we'll come back and finish this off. Okay, so I've got all the supplies that I need uh, to build the kitchen. I've got the two cauldrons here. I've got the smoker over here. And then this is going to be the refrigerator. So I've got a dropper for there. And then I've also got some wool. I just got the cyan wool from the sheep. So I can use this to make a bed. So if I just grab the rest of my oak wood here, I can make two cyan beds. Uh, so we'll have one in this room and then one in the other room. So if I can go ahead and get rid of these slabs, we'll put this. I didn't actually make any extra job items uh, for over here. Because I've got so many, I think it's fine if I just leave uh, like no job items over here. I think this should be enough for the villagers. They've got plenty of job items. They've even got more job items over here. I'm pretty sure we have more job items than we do beds, which is not good. But uh, this is a, a pretty good house for someone to live in. I also got some glass. I've got a button here for the fridge so you can store your stuff in here. And then you press the button and it shoots it out. Uh, speaking of bread, I gotta feed these guys. Here, you want some bread? Here you go. There's some bread. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to do uh, before I do the glass is I want to fill up these cauldrons with some water. So I'll put some water in here. And then we'll put some water in this one. There we go. I also have glass panes. And I've also got the regular glass blocks. I want to see which one looks better. I think the glass panes is probably going to be better to use because you get a lot more glass. So if I go over here, that's not the crafting table. If I go over here and put six of these uh, glass blocks, I can get 16 panes. So I'm gonna, just going to use this. So that way I save glass. Uh, let me make some more. I'll make... Uh, 38 pieces of glass to start off with. This should be plenty for the entire building. Uh, so I'll go ahead and fill in all that glass. We'll fill in this glass over here. And then I could even put some around the farm area as well. I could like encase this entire area here with glass. Uh, but I think leaving it open is fine. I've got 12 panes extra. I'm going to go ahead and harvest the wheat that's over here. Since we don't have any farmers uh, harvesting it at the moment. But eventually, 
we should get some farmers in here and they'll be able to uh, harvest all the wheat. All right, so I've just harvested the wheat. I think this looks like a really nice house. I've got their own kitchen. I've got a nice dining table. I still need to make that pot. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go back and make one of those. Looks like everyone's gathering over here for the day. Uh, so how many villagers do we have over here? We got, is there five? Yeah, we got five villagers over here. I should probably feed them. Uh, let me get this weight turned in the bread. So let me see if I can feed these guys. Oh wait, there's another villager. Wait, how many? Oh, there's four. All right, so this is the fifth one over here. Uh, he's going into the cave. That's not good. I just realized we still have this huge cave that's open. So all the villagers seem to be enjoying this area, which is good. Uh, the next thing that I need to add uh, to kind of finish this off is all the lights. So off camera, I'm going to make a bunch more lanterns. And then next episode, I'm going to go through and put all the lights down. And then I have to get started on building the dock. So over there, I want to build a dock. And I was thinking about possibly building a path off of here that leads over to the dock. Uh, the only thing is, I don't know if there's enough space. Because this is a, a four-block path. I think there's four blocks in between here, but it's going to be touching the buildings. But it should uh, work to be able to get over to the dock. So that way you can get easy access to the dock from the village and you can get access to it from over there as well. Uh, so that's going to be pretty much it for today. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. So make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye everybody.